Hello everyone, it's Sam here from edmprod.com. Uh, so in this video we're going to be looking at uh, how we can sidechain um, effects like reverb and delay uh, to a synth sound. Um, and you, you might be wondering why we do that in the first place. And it's pretty simple. Um, if we play this sound by itself, you'll notice that it has a nice attack. It's got a nice uh, body to it. It sounds very clean. Right. Now if we added reverb straight on top of that, you'll notice that it loses a lot of that attack and um, body. It sounds a lot more hollow. Just doesn't sound nice at all. So by side chaining, we can actually um, keep this nice uh, attack and body as well as have some reverb and delay. Um, if you're not sure what side chaining is, I'd recommend having a look at that. It basically, it's basically a form of compression where when one sound plays, the other sound doesn't. And you'll see that when we start doing it in here. So it's very easy to do in Ableton. Um, all you need to do is insert a new audio track. Control T if you want to be quicker. And you'll see here, you can see my mic going up and down. But what you want to do is change this audio from, and if you can't see this section, just click on this icon here, which stands for in and out. In and out. Um, change this to our channel 1, which in this case is 1, um, Arna, 64, 64 bit. Uh, so we'll change it to that. It might be something different for you. And then if we click monitor in, you'll find that uh, when we play this sound here, it goes through this channel as well. But we don't actually want the same sound playing through there. So what we're going to do is add some reverb, first of all. But we're actually going to put this, no, we'll add some reverb. And we're going to we're going to turn this all the way up to wet. Um, this is not here, dry wet on reverb. You know, you can play around with the settings here. I'm going to add a bit of decay and turn it high cut, low cut a bit. Doesn't matter what you do. Um, and now you'll notice that we've got two signals. This one is completely wet um, with reverb. So it's better than before, but it still sounds a bit muddy. Uh, so what we need to do is sidechain it. And it's easy to do, we just need to grab a compressor. And click this little arrow here. Sidechain audio from channel 1, which is our original pluck sound. And then as you're playing this, slowly turn the threshold down until you get a nice balance oh, we won't go into attack too much, I like to turn it down quite a lot and I'll turn the ratio up to about 3 it does involve a bit of playing around uh, to get this, the sound you like but you'll see that if we change it to uh, this here, you'll see that each time the pluck sound hits, um, our compressor dips and our, our reverb dips. So it's, it's quite an um, intuitive way to look at it actually. It's, it makes a lot of sense. Um, now, if you want to add delay, this isn't completely related to the side chaining part, but if we wanted to add delay to this and also side chain some delay, um, you'll notice it doesn't actually have much of a nice effect. It's not too bad, but we don't get the delay um, that we would get if we put it on our original synth, for example. Thank you. 
And one thing that's quite uh, common with delays is that when you put them on straight on the sound, they they overlap and they can cause phasing issues and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't sound too great. But what if we wanted our delay and reverb to, to sound as their own, as their own sound or own channel, um, so we can hear the highs on the ping pong, the attack on the ping pong delay, etc. Uh, it's, there's two ways to do this. We're going to do the easier way. You could duplicate this track and make one have a ping pong delay and one have a reverb. Or you can drag an audio effect track into here, stick the reverb into, into it, and then click on this little icon here, which will bring up the chain. Um, create chain and then drag the delay into here. So now we've got these two chains uh, of effects that are working simultaneously. So we don't have the delay coming before the reverb or the reverb coming before the delay. Uh, to make that more clear, the, the delay is not affecting the reverb. The reverb is not affecting the delay. So now if we listen to it, you'll find that you can hear the, the nice sound of the delay that we want and the nice reverb. So we went from this to this. Very fast and easy way to add atmosphere to your um, lead sounds. You can mess around, you can try it with bass, um, a big synth, works well for a super saw, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, try different effects, you might want to add some you know, saturation or... Um, bit crushing that kind of thing uh yeah just be creative and have a bit of fun